Now at five, a loved one's pain. You don't just hit someone and leave. It, it doesn't work like that. A driver nearly kills her uncle while he's walking his two dogs. Tonight, a new lead in a particularly disturbing hit and run. And that new lead is surveillance video that shows the driver making a U-turn before leaving the scene. CBS 4's Peter Dench is on top of all the developments in this story. He is live now at Jackson Memorial Hospital. And Peter, the first question, of course, is how is that man doing? Well, Jim and Lauren, Willie Moore's nieces tell us he is in critical condition and has had at least seven surgeries in the past 20 days. In fact, he had another surgery today. Now they're hoping that new surveillance tape just released by Miami-Dade police will lead to a break in this case. We don't know what the outcome is going to be right now. Sure, Hunty Walker prays for her 39-year-old uncle, Willie Moore. She thinks of happier days seen in these photos and worries about him as he lies in this bed in the intensive care unit at Jackson Memorial Hospital. I feel that whoever did this, I mean, you, you knew that you hit him. You don't just hit someone and leave. It, it doesn't work like that. Walker has been hospitalized since March 9th. That's when Miami-Dade police say this light-colored sedan that may be a Nissan Altima struck him, made a U-turn, and then took off. You knew what you had done, and you left a human being on the ground to die. So, I mean, no one should be left like that to die. It happened at 11.30 at night on March 9th at Northwest 20th Avenue and 95th Street. He was walking to his two dogs. He has two dogs. Um, one of the dogs actually um, was, was killed. This female pit bull who sits in Moore's front yard survived. Moore, who has scoliosis and is disabled, is still not able to speak with his loved ones. My uncle right now has a broken pelvis. His back is busted open, um, his hip is broken, his leg is broken. Police say the vehicle seen on this tape that hit Moore could have driver's side and front end damage. Whoever did this needs to come forward or if anyone else knows who did it, need to just do a an anonymous message or anything to the police. We need some results for this. Whoever did this cannot get away with this. And coming up at six in just one hour, we'll hear from another one of Willie Moore's nieces. They tell us he could be hospitalized for at least a few more months. Now, we just checked. Miami-Dade police tell us they have no new leads in this case. But if you can help, call them or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We are live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.